Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Is TMT going to crash? Before we begin, I hope that you are having a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's go right now to TMT. So we are probably forming a bearish pennant. This means lower highs and higher lows. Eventually, we will be able to lose the 3.23 USDT and we are going down to below 2.96 USDT. I will explain the exact targets first. Let's see some very, very important stuff so you can figure out when things are not looking good. So basically what we are having right now is that we are getting rejected from the 20 day and the 50 day MA bearish cross and also stochastic are in an overbought situation while we do not have any major movements for TMT. This probably means that we are going to get further down into the next support levels. I'm going to tell you exactly where are we going. Before we go there, let's go to GMT against Bitcoin chart. Right now you can see that we are having the same, although on GMT against Bitcoin we never had a bearish cross on the 4 hour frame since 12 March and even earlier. You can see this is the first time we are having a bearish cross and not only that, but GMT against Bitcoin chart had a crazy pump and then we immediately fall down below the 20 day and the 50 day MA. This was clearly a fake out. Right now what we are going to see is a correction, a cross correction coming. For GMT against Bitcoin chart, this will mean that we are going to test for sure this line right here, 0 0.407963, and I think that we are going to retest even the 0 0.406982. So a lower low, lower high pattern will take place for GMT and we will eventually fall down, crossing into the 0 0.406982. Then, of course, we have some other support levels that I will explain afterwards. Right now, let's go back to GMT against USDT chart, which is pretty, pretty important. So what do we have for GMT against USDT is that we are having a very, very nice bull trend. But at the same time, right now, we should be more than careful. I'm going to draw the Fibonacci retracement from the bottom back on 7 April to the top on 28. You can see that we are floating around these two Fibonacci retracement lines. The first one is the 0.382, which is the 3.35 and the 3.09. What we are going to do next, though, is that we are going to lose this price target leading all the way down to 2.83. There we might be having a buying pressure, however, this won't be something that we should be actually seeing as a bullish thing, right? Because we will be having a buying pressure, but we will keep having the lower low, lower high pattern, the correction mode. The best thing that DMT could do is forming a head and shoulders pattern. From there, for example, we could have a left shoulder, the head, as you can see right here, and of course, the right shoulder. But the right shoulder could be already formed right here, okay? And we go all the way down. So the best scenario is to go maybe towards the 3.66, but I do not think that this will be the case for TMT. I believe that we are going down to 2.84, and most likely, if we find a small pressure on 2.84, we might be going back to 3, and then retest the 2.46. For DMT against Bitcoin chart, this will mean that we could potentially, we will actually go to the 0 0.4069 and maybe the worst are about to come to go down to the 0 0.4059. Especially if Bitcoin is bullish, DMT against Bitcoin chart will correct more than DMT against USDT, leading to a further massive correction towards the minus 15% and the minus 28. What we need to look at is that we should be careful right now, except if you open short position. But right now, if you want to buy or if you have bought a top, 
please reconsider buying because it is very, very good to know that right now we do not have what it takes to go all the way higher and the most likely scenario is to fall down all the way to the 2.84 having a bearish pennant. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription and of course see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.